All right, Joe. I'm recording now. So I'm here with I'm here with Joe K from Illawarra, Wollongong, Australia, and we're testing out the Unite U N Y T E application sharing plugin to Skype. So I'm I'm using the yeah Joe go take take it take us through it. We're looking at your Flickr account. So it's, so it's all looking pretty standard from my end. I've been able to share my screen and um, you know select which apps I want to share. So I've chosen to share my browser. Okay. And I'm just being I'm able to then just browse back and forth through it, and I'm only seeing the changes at the other end. Yes. Yeah, so so far I'm still looking at your. Um, Okay, now I'm looking at your photos with screen grabs from your Second Life characters and stuff like that. Okay, so that's a web. That's a. Yes, Joe. That that's a web tour. No worries. How about sharing the uh, application on your desktop, like um, there's that black square, uh, like a Word document or something like that. You know, you know, you got to right-click the little plug-in, and then you got. Uh, yeah, and you can share all. I think it's share all or something like that. It's in there somewhere. Okay, something happened this end in that the... Okay, now hang on, I'm looking at... Okay, there is a little bit of a lag. I'm looking at a Word document. Okay, Australian Flexible Learning Framework. Um, okay. Yeah, no, no that's, that's laggy, but it's scrolling through all right. I mean, it's easily as good as Illuminate's application share so far. But mind you, we're on broadband. Well, we're on semi-broadband. I don't know if we call this broadband, but... <laughs> yeah. So if I start a new document, can you see me typing? Uh, there's still a lag. I'm still looking at the framework document. So if you've started... Okay, now, okay, highly, yep, sharing the desktop. Yep, I can see all that. No worries. So it looks like it's about a frame rate on the share of about one frame per second. So if, as a teaching strategy, I think if you were to keep that in mind, when you're clicking icons and stuff, you should be okay, yeah. But, I mean, you know, from experience with Illuminate, you have the same problems as a presenter anyway. Yes, yes, that's right. You know, and, the, and the, you have those lag issues. Now, I guess the next test is how this works in a conferencing mode. I mean, exactly. have you, do you know of a plug-in for Skype that gets more than five people in a conference? Not one that, that I've effectively been able to use, no. Okay. So that I guess that's the, ne the next tool we need to get out there. I mean, there's the one that they use in the States where they um, five people sco conferencing in Skype and they're recording the Skype and streaming it out via their streaming server and then they've got a hundred or so people on the instant message and then when somebody on the instant message wants to talk, they just boot someone off the um, conference and then in they come that way. And jump in. Yeah. 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 I've seen, d they've seen that solution but, but you know, haven't actually had the opportunity to set it up. So well, that's the real... That's the realistic thing we've got going here, is that what we need is free, easy, preferably web-based web conferencing. Yeah, the holy grail. I mean, um, we've been trying out in Talo. I think, yeah, you, you, you tried out TeamSpeak with us, didn't you? And, and I'm actually using TeamSpeak quite a lot with virtual worlds at the moment. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, have you... The, sorry? It seems to be the tool of choice. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of runtime in that program. Yes. So it would be quite interesting to find, you know, to, to look at whether or not we could use a combination of some sort of screen sharing tool and TeamSpeak. Yes. Yes. So Have you ever tried Jibe.com? J Y B E. dot com. It's a it's a just a plug into your browser and it just enables instant messaging and web touring, uh, collaborative web touring. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think so. All right. Well, thanks for the recording, Joe. I'll just turn it off here now and... Um